Hello everybody, this is Graphic Tools Lab. How have you been? In this video we will learn about utilizing Photoshop to make pixel stretch effect. Use this tutorial way to create an interesting illusion on your photo. Pixel stretching is just grabbing one single row of pixels or a line of pixels. So this effect is very easy and it takes you a couple seconds. Just below the video, there is a link to download the image that I used. Before I get started, I just want to say, if you want more of tutorials make sure to hit the thumbs up button, or comment below, and subscribe. That's very encouraging. Okay then, let's get started. In this video we will use Photoshop CC. Follow my steps slowly. Go to File. Open, to open image. I'll use this image. I downloaded this image from Pixabay, and this sculpture image is for free to use. In description I'll link Pixabay URL, and you can go to download this image. Now, let's remove background. Go to pen tool, and make sure the pen tool mode is path. Now let's get it on. Honestly, I already made selection. Unlock background layer. Press Ctrl J to copy selection area. Let's click eyeball icons to see what happened. Create a new layer. I'll choose black background to show you process clearly. Go to paint bucket tool. And click. Change layer position. Open quick selection tool, and modify size for big one. Make selection. Go to adjustment layer, and click gradient map. I'll pick black and white gradient. Now image color has changed. The dark side is black, and bright side is white. Click OK. Click layers with shift press, and select merge layers. Press V to change position. Click marquee tool. And drag it. Press V to split image. If you magnify your workspace, you can see pixels. Click rectangular marquee tool, for select single column marquee tool. Let's grab the pixels column, and then press Ctrl T, Photoshop will open up the transform. Make apply. We modified pixels. Let's go back again. Press Ctrl T. Go to transform and warp modes. Go to warp and click arc. You can modify value. Ok, come back again. Press Ctrl T and then stretch it again. In this time go to warp and pick flag. I'll type in 8 or 7. Press enter. Press Ctrl J several times, for adjust opacity 100%. Click layers with shift press, and hit merge layers. Now we have done, this is super simple. So that's all for graphic tool slab, utilize what you learnt and make awesome images. Please keep an eye on more videos to come. Thank you so so much for watching this tutorial.